Are you one of those people that brushes their teeth first thing when you get up? Or are you one of those people that waits till after you have coffee and, and eat something? I'm a right away -er. Well, this is my morning face. Ah, uh, subscribe. I don't have a microphone on, so I hope the audio is okay. It is different, I think, than a lot of the adventure every day and everything's epic and all that stuff that you see a lot on YouTube because for folks like me that hold a job, we just do it using the internet. Um, you're still putting in a, a full work week. You just are doing it in really beautiful surroundings and you don't have the monotony of looking at the same freaking wall in a cubicle or like the same backyard every day. Ugh, the doldrums of it. So I mean, as long as I have an internet signal, I would much prefer to do a 40 hour a week job this lifestyle than in a, t in a typical lifestyle, but a lot of my day-to-day -day is working. <laughs> I know it probably seems crazy that I curl my eyelashes and put on mascara for essentially no one, but I put it on for me. I'm not no one. Ah, oh, there. See, now I feel like I can stand to look at myself. Some may call that low self-esteem. I call it low self-esteem. Okay, let me get Ooh, it's brisk, baby! I put a microphone on so that I can speak to you outside and have it pick up. Hopefully the audio jump from me not using the microphone to using the microphone isn't too severe. So basically the daily routine is uh, after I get all my little morning rituals done, uh, I come out and I sit in the sun, have a second cup of coffee, and do several hours of work. Right now, I am working on an article that I'll also post on my blog, luxandriot.com. Um, but I'm really writing it for my job, and it's about uh, the importance of having a living will. So that is what I am working on today. So now it is 2.42. I have been working since 8 a.m. I'm going to take a break and take a walk with Riot. finishing her food which is going to make a lot of background noise. Hey! In the morning after I boil all that water I put the excess in this Bubba growler and it keeps it hot so I have wash up water in the evening and I don't have to re-boil any water in the evening. I just use the hot water left over from the morning. Sometimes one of my favorite parts of the day is taking out my contacts.
especially on days where I have been staring at a computer screen for seven hours. If any of you ever wonder what Riot's up to while I'm inside doing things, talking to you, working, usually just doing this. So I don't mean for this video to curb anyone's enthusiasm, so to speak, but I think it's important to also see a realistic version of what to expect of life on the road. Uh, unless you have oodles of money that where you don't have to sustain a job, you know what I mean? So basically what happens is, you know, I, I took a few hour break in the afternoon so I can entertain this little girl. But that means that I have a couple more hours left of work. Uh, if anyone's wondering why they don't see me in glasses very often, I usually wear my contacts during the day. And I don't like wearing my glasses because they are so scratched that it's almost hard to see through them. It's like they're permanently dirty or permanently foggy. So I don't wear them that often. And one of my hopes this winter is to go to uh, Los, Ag uh, Los Algodones in Mexico because they're supposed to have very, very, very affordable eyewear. And um, I got these ones from Warby Parker and I think they guarantee their lenses but I did pay extra to have these scratch resistant and they are scratched to holy hell. In a little bit here, I'll show you what I make for dinner, but I gotta get at least a couple more hours of work in so I can keep sustaining my life. I'm sure you guys understand. Most of the time when I get up, it's still really dark out. And I have to say, I am so thankful for that diesel heater because I might have been born and raised and lived all my years in the Midwest, but I am not made out for the Midwest. It's like 30 degrees here and I was freezing. So the diesel heater helps me get out of bed. I don't like being cold no more. So today's work day is going to run a little differently because we have to go into Blythe to get some supplies like water and a little bit of food, but it means that I'll be working into the afternoon and evening. And I'm just showing this as a way for anyone that is coming out on the road and they're taking their job with them, they're working online. So you can see, I mean, you still got to get your job done so you can get a paycheck and all that. Um, but at least you wake up and your office is this. And you know, you can sit outside and you can do your work and it's beautiful like this. And you know, you run to the store, but then you come back to nature. So, I mean, I, I think this beats looking at the same backyard every day. I don't know, I just don't, I have a very good attention span for some things, but I have a very limited attention span to look at the same thing day in and day out. That bridge is terrified. And I have a bridge phobia that I think I must have like died falling off of a bridge in a past life because bridges freak me the fuck out as it is and that bridge is terrifying. The store is about a half hour away from this camp spot and the nearest store is Blythe, California, which means if you don't bring your own bags, they charge you for them. So I always bring my own bags. The wind is like 40 miles an hour, 
and it's real gusty. Riot does not like that high winds. We got back from our walk just before my meeting. I have like two minutes and I am covered in dirt. It is so windy. It was very good resistance workout to walk against that wind. And I don't know if it's because of the gypsum, but the dirt is really salty. What do you think? Robert um, and that is two pounds of M&Ms to make up for all the M&Ms I steal from him and then his favorite candy in the world is almond roca but the store did not have almond roca so he is getting sea salt caramel roca I've never even heard of roca have you guys so at any rate but then I wrote this at the top so he knows I listen they just didn't have the right one. Now that I have around wrapping gifts terribly, I am going to have to get back to work and work the rest of the afternoon. So I'll pick you all back up tomorrow to finish out this vlog with the third day. So basically this is three days in one is the concept of this one. Let's see how it turns out. Sometimes I don't bother getting myself ready until it warms up a little bit because I'm not going to be leaving the trailer until I can feel my fingers outside. I have such bad frostbite that if it's like even hovering around the 32 to 38 degree, I stop feeling the last couple digits. So that's another reason I like being in warmer weather is I can feel my fingers then. So I'm going to chilling here looking ugly as hell and get some work done this morning. I use a jetpack for internet which has worked sufficient. This is a Verizon jetpack. So I went ahead and I put in a couple hours of work but I'm going to take a break for Mexican hot chocolate break. Here's the deal. Each digital nomad job is going to be really different. So my job is more project oriented, which means I do have meetings and I have to be around certain days of the week at certain times for those meetings. And my job just got a little bit more complex because I got, I guess, a promotion. But I still have a lot more freedom than, for instance, Robert, who also works as a digital nomad. He also works online. I kind of hate the term digital nomad. I feel like it's kind of trite, but I guess that's what people call it. So uh, Robert works on a much more rigid schedule. Uh, so he has a little bit less free time, but he did have time for Mexican hot chocolate in a chat. I did. I'm so, so thankful for this. But that's kind of the nice thing about it is, you know, you get to kind of more or less work your schedule in a way that you like. And since everything is digital or on Zoom or other platforms, you know, you can be a little lackadaisical in like changing out of sweatpants and stuff like that. Literally, you're wearing sweatpants, you just think. <laughs> so what I'm kind of thinking is... You could do an online job in an apartment, or you could do an online job from your van. Why do you prefer to do an online job out of your van instead of an apartment? Well, because I have the freedom of when I'm not working to step outside my door and walk to the river and, and look at beautiful mountains or take a hike. And I'm right there. I don't have to drive to get there. I'm already there. So I'm actually saving time on my free time. And 
What do you not like about working a digital job from the road? Having to have internet. You have to have a good internet connection, which eliminates some great camping spots. Uh, we were camping in northern Nevada this year, and beautiful area, lots of great places to camp. No internet, so that would not be on the list of places we can go back to because of... Where we just couldn't go for a long time. Like, yeah. we couldn't spend two weeks there again. So that really is the limitation, is if you want to go to some of those more remote areas, which both of us actually really prefer, it means you can only go for like an overnighter or a night or two because you have to get back to where you can have connectivity, um, unless obviously you arrange with your work to have a longer time off, which is kind of like you need a vacation even though your life is somewhat of a vacation. You know what I mean? So it, I mean... It, I don't even know how I would go about having that conversation considering, I mean, yeah, you, you kind of have the freedom whenever you're not actively working. Is there anything you wish that you did different in your setup since you have to work from your van? Would you have changed anything about your van design to accommodate your job? Um, no, not really. Uh, my van design works pretty good. I mean, it's a little limited. I don't have a designated office space or anything like that but I do have a countertop that I just rearrange in order to make it an office space so actually no not really everything I can do is pretty much easily done I can do it inside and out so the only negative is the computer screen and the sunshine it's just hard to see them outside yeah. so you got to sit in the shade sometimes but no, I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, I just need an external an antenna to maybe boost my signal a little bit. Yeah, I guess a little bit more range. I'm looking for the same thing. I know there's a lot of options out there, but I'm not currently convinced on any of them, so I'm taking my sweet time. But is there anything else you want to share about... Working being... on the road? Yeah, just... It sure, here's what I think. It's a lot better than working a 40-hour desk job. <laughs> it's better than working a 40-hour desk job. It's also, like, if you're going to have to work from the road, you know, I loved camp hosting, and I just applied to be a camp host again, but now I got a promotion, so I'm probably not going to be a camp host again. But I would say that spending 40 hours a week being in nature, even though I'm on my laptop, is a lot better than cleaning fire pits and toilets. It is, and you know, in my, my past job, I was outside all the time, but I was working six days a week and, you know, anywhere between 50 and 60 hours to accomplish that, and this is a lot less work, and it's a lot more relaxing, and it's just, I so much enjoy the freedom of having a little more flexibility in my schedule. Yeah. I think being a nomad always is going to boil down to freedom. I think that's what the lifestyle really represents in so many different varieties, freedom from a lot of different things, but you're not free from living life and having to eat. I mean, even a bird's gotta work to find the worms. So there's always gonna be something to do to survive. Well, I'm just saying like every creature has to work. It's true. You're never gonna get out of it. You're always gonna have to do something, but um, it's how you go about it, I think. But I hope that gives you a little different perspective on being a digital nomad. Um, and now we'll continue enjoying our hot chocolate. We just cooled down a little bit. Thank you very much, Lex. Yeah. And then we'll continue with our final day in the life of a digital nomad. You never know till your hair is dry and I was able to get a little bit of more work done but so 
as you can see, being a digital nomad is being a nomad that works a normal job. It's kind of like if you're working from home, which so many people are doing, it's just you get to do it from the road, which is, in my opinion, preferable to doing it to a static type situation because my brain and body want, I guess, constant stimulation from a changing environment. But hopefully you got a better impression and something out of this video. If you did get anything out of this video, as usual, please consider giving it a thumbs up and uh, subscribing so that you don't miss out on more adventures, which will include us going to get our 107 license. What does that mean? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. Ah! Some of you know. Anyway, 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 carry on.